Okay, yeah, sure. So welcome back, Cairn Creek Cronies, may I say? Could I call you cronies? We gotta say like, Cairn Creek Cowboys, Cowgirls. So each time I open up the intro, I can say, welcome back, Cairn Creek. Let's stick with cronies today. Let's see what you guys think about that. So anyways, today's episode is gonna be kind of short and sweet. I did wanna clarify a couple things and uh, go over what we have coming up this summer. Uh, got some exciting things coming up this summer for sure. Um, over the last few days, we've planted some uh, some spruce trees up on that screen we made a couple videos ago. We've been watering a lot of grass. Got a lot of new grass seed down. Been watering that. Um, got a spot picked out that I can build a golf green. We'll touch on that in a little bit too. Always wanted a golf hole on my own property. Um, so yeah, we'll, uh, we're going to go over a few things that we are going to do over the summer. We'll go into them a little bit more later. Um, I guess the first thing though I wanted to clarify is everybody, well not everybody, but I've had several emails or Facebook messages, people asking, can we come out and camp or can we come out and ride? You know, people that I I don't really know. So the, the straight answer to that is no, not really. It's private, it's for our family and friends and that's uh, kind of why we, we have it. Maybe one of these days we'll have some type of an open house that the local folks could come by and kind of just check it out. Uh, so to clarify that, no, it's it's not really open to the public. Um, it's it's open to our family and friends. It's our own little paradise, or at least that's what we're striving to make it. So some things we're going to talk about in the video today, not right now, but the plan's coming up. We have a big cousins bash coming up at the end of June. Big Fortress Lock camp out. We have an invitation hair scramble coming up later in the year at the property. And we have the jerk off. It's an annual jerky cook off. It's all day competition. And uh, but right now, I wanted to show you guys send it Sunday action from last Sunday. We had a ball in the swamp. Actually, we're going to just start calling it the send it Sunday swamp. So check out that footage. We get back. I'll go in more in detail on our summer plans. We got what you guys got to look forward to. What do you think of that Send It Sunday action? Wasn't that cool? Everybody getting muddy and crazy. We had a, had a heck of a day. Heck of a day. It was fun. It was Carson's uh, graduation birthday, and then after everything kind of calmed down, we went down to, to play in Mud Pit. Uh, so coming up here in June, I want to touch on the Cousins Bash. End of June, uh, it's where the Cousins come down from different parts of Ohio, and they'll camp our property every year to someplace different. This year, we get to host it at Karen Creek, which is super exciting. So we always have different competitions. That's what Miss Kim and I right now are trying to come up with was the different competitions at the Cousins Bash to determine our uh, our champ for the year. I think I'd like to do a log roll in the pond. However, I looked on YouTube and there's nothing on how to build a log roll. Maybe we'll be the first ever instructional video on how to build a log roll. I can't show you how to do it, but the log roll. Uh, next, coming right out of the Cousins Bash, we'll go right into Fourth July weekend. I'll be camping and 
booming and banging and poker runs and four-wheelers and dirt bikes. Uh, Uncle Buck's come back out to the farm for the 4th of July weekend. Can't wait to see what he gets tore up from the floor up. All right. The Invitation Hair Scramble, it's going to be off the chain. If you guys love dirt bikes, quads, you're going to love it. I think the most fun for us will be actually going out and building the course. I'm hoping by then we have a drone so that drone footage can show us kind of laying it out because it's a huge, not huge, but it's a, it's a big property. There's a lot of trails. I think I'm going to give the boys each a section, like give uh, Coco 15 acres, Gage so many acres, and tell them to go out, lay out your section. Uh, we'll do a pro hill somewhere. So I think the most fun of that will be uh, laying it out, building it, and then, of course, one day of executing the race, and we'll get some footage of that. And rolling into the fall, this year it's going to be October 10th, 10, 10, 10, 20. We have the 2020 jerk-off. This is last year's leaderboard. Uh, you can see some of the different competitions we had last year. The long gun, deer gun, clay pigeon, pistol competition, compound bow, crossbow, light chainsaw, heavy chainsaw, golf, cornhole, jerky. So that's where we do a jerky cook-off at the end of the day. So basically each competition you get certain points for each competition where you finish first, second, or third and at the end of the day we tally up the points and unfortunately last year I did get second. The jerk off should show us a lot of good should show us a lot of good competition. Uh, mainly you get to see all kinds of different guns. I know everybody's already talking about how they're souping up their chainsaws. We're probably gonna have to have three chainsaw classes this year. A light, a heavy, and an open because it's getting uh, it's like any event that we start you know, once people try to get, and it's not, you don't win any money or you win a little bit of money, but mostly it's about bragging rights, which are priceless in these parts is bragging rights. So everybody's getting super uh, pumped up. They're already sighting in guns, talking about big guns, little guns, prepping their chainsaws. Uh, love to hear your guys' ideas. If you had another competition, we could throw in on the, the jerk off day in 2020. Um, yeah, last year I sucked at the actual jerky part of it. And that's probably what gave me second place is because I was in the lead going into the twelfth event or whatever it was and got smoked on the jerk or the jerky cook off and uh landed me uh, last place. So I mentioned the golf green. So in my background here you can see I think you can see the three hundred yard shooting target. Uh that's from out just a little ways from where I'm at. But right where I'm standing we could get like a three hundred and thirty yard tee shot to a golf green. Um go up on the hill we could do a par five dog leg shoot some par three tee boxes into it it would be super awesome however it's gonna be a lot of work but I think over the summer if I can get most of the work done I'd like to have that project done to be able to plant our seed by the middle of September uh, a lot of things to consider for this project that's irrigation airflow uh, shade uh, drainage uh, if I think I do this I think I want to do it right I don't think I want really short bent grass at the time but I'm going to go ahead and put bent grass on the green probably, grow it a little taller, mow it. We have bent grass at the house. And that's something, uh, several videos back, somebody said, won't you tell us something, that, something about yourself? This is a cool fact. Cool fact is that I played alongside a British Open Championship winner in my lifetime. So back in the day, I played a lot of golf. I was pretty good. I don't play much anymore. Uh, but through different tournaments, I actually played alongside uh, Ben Curtis, uh, he's also from Ohio, and he won the British Open. That is cool stuff right there. So, like I said, not a big golfer anymore. I think I will have more fun maintaining and building this golf green than I actually do golfing. Seems like in your older age, you, uh, or at least for me, I have more fun out here doing stuff than, than playing golf, but I still love to get out every once in a while. And uh, to the golf green, I, who knows how many subscribers even talk about golf or are interested in golf. If you're not even interested in golf, I still think you'll be interested to see the processes, the correct processes of building and constructing a green uh, properly. So you got a lot of heavy equipment. Uh, you know, we have trimming trees, moving the dirt, uh, putting in drainage systems, irrigation. So I think uh, it might appeal to even the non-golfers out there just seeing something get done. I know when it gets done, we get the grass growing and stuff. It's going to be super awesome. Mark my word. Come on. So there you have it. That brings you up to date on what Cairn Creek really is about being family and friends are welcome. Uh, the public, not so much quite yet. Maybe that open house will have one of these days. And I kind of brought you up to speed on different activities and events we'll be having out here this year. We're super excited. I'm most excited about getting the place ready for each event. It's a ton of fun uh, just getting this place cleaned up and uh, finding the time in between our, our more permanent projects like the horse barn or some of the other barns we're going to build 
really excited about the golf project. Um, can't wait to get started on that. I'll probably pick and piece at that. You know, I might work on a horse barn a little bit. I get sick of that. Maybe jump on the dozer and go back and work on that. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching. We'll keep these videos pumping out to you. Hopefully, keep getting two a week. You guys subscribe to the channel. Appreciate it. this last video. I think we got uh, several new subscribers. That's awesome. And we'll keep pumping out the good uh, content for you. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.